Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic that is Parada. You know Parada is Mercury. That is Parada is a silver colored liquid metal. So it is a metal that is existing in liquid state. It is also called as Hydral Gyrum. It is denoted as Hg. Also known as Quicksilver. It can dissolve in inorganic acids. Also, it can form amalgams, which is the uh, unique property of this mercury. That is, it will combine with other metals to form amalgams. It will not combine with iron and platinum. All uh, with all other metals, it will form amalgam. The process is known as amalgamation. Now, let's consider the physical properties of mercury. As I already told you, that is the symbol is Hg. The specific gravity is 13.56 and its freezing point is minus 38.4 degrees Celsius and it will boil at a temperature 357 degrees Celsius. It is having atomic weight 200.6 and uh, atomic number 80. Now let us consider the ores of mercury. Mercury will exist in either native form that is free mercury or in the state of compounds that is in the form of ores. So two uh, type of forms are there that is Mukta Swaroopa and uh, Yaugiga Swaroopa. So the Yaugiga Swaroopa means the compounds or ores. So the major ores of mercury are Cinnabar that is Hingula or HGS, Metta Cinnabar, Charmara Hingula, Hepatic Cinnabar that is Darada Hingula, Coral Ore, Pravalaba Hingula. Then comes the red oxide of mercury that is Girisindura, then Calomel that is Hg2Cl2, Mondroidite that is HgO, then Living Stoneite and Steel Ore of mercury. So these are the major ores of mercury. Now let's consider the synonyms of Parada. Uh, Parada is having a large number of synonyms and uh, we can consider it one by one. That is from the Dehavada point of view, uh, the synonyms are Amrita, Dehada, Parada, Rasayana, Mrityunashana, Jeva, Paramamamrita, Rasayana, Shreshta, etc. And, uh, in concern with the Dadivada aspect, there is Maharasa, Rasa, Rasendra, everything connected with the Rasa. Like that, um, various synonyms are there. Then, based on its Guna, uh, that is Ananta, Amara, Sukshma, etc. Then, according to the Ashwinika point of view, it is having the synonyms Jiva, Divya, Achintya, etc. Then based on Swaruba, Galat Raupya Nibam. Raupya means silver and Galat Raupya means molten silver. So it is having the appearance of molten silver. Then Mahavanni, Mahateja, Suvarna, Chamara, etc. are the synonyms based on this Swaruba. Now according to the Gati, that is it is having an elusive property, so it is having the synonym, elusive means slippery or difficult to capture, so it is having uh, the property, uh, the synonyms like Khechara, Chapala, Chala, Bhurtaga, etc. Then based on the mythological point of view, everything connected with the Shiva, Lord Shiva, the synonyms are like that, that is Trinetra, Deha, Dehaja, Prabhu, Rudraja, then Hara Bija, Hara Reta, Hara Teja, etc. Every synonyms related to Lord Shiva. So these are the synonyms of Parada. Now we can consider the types of Parada. That is Raso Rasendraha Sutascha Parado Mishragastada Idi Panchavito Jadaha Kshetra Bedena Shambuja. So these are the five types of Parada. This every word is having a definition. That is Rasa means Rasanat Sarva Datunam Rasa Itya Bhithiyade. Jara Ruk Mrityu Nashaya Rasyateva Raso Mataha. Like that Rasendra means that is it is uh, Rasa Uparasa Rajatpuada 
Rasendra idi Kirtida. That is, it is a supreme dravya among all rasa and uparasa. Then Suta means Deha Loka Mayim Siddhim Sudo Sudas Tadahas Madaha. That is, it helps in the pharmaceutical procedures of other dadus, etc. Then comes Parada. That is, Roga Panga Abdi Magna Nam Parada Nacha Paradaha. So, it will help us to cross the ocean of diseases. So, we can, uh, by consuming Parada, we can attain a disease free state then comes Mishraga Mishraga means Sarva Dhatu Gadam Tejo Mishradam Yatra Tishtadi so it is a, uh, that is similar to uh, a combination of all Dhatu so every uh, the essence of every Dhatu is present in Parada now let's consider the properties of each variety so first one i already told you that is rasa raso retto vinir muktaha sarva doshehi rasayanaha rasa andro dosha nirmuktaha shyavo ruksho ati chanjalaha then uh, next comes sutaka that is ishat pitascha rukshango dosha yuktascha sutakaha then comes Parada, that is Adhanya Kupachaha, Sopi, Chanchalaha, Shweta Varnavan, Parado Vividar Yogehi, Sarva Roga Hara Sahi. Then comes Mishraga, it is Mayura Chandrika Chayaha, Saraso Mishrago Mada. Now let's consider the properties in detail. First one, that is Rasa, its Varna is Rekta. Raso Rekto, Vinir Muktaha Sarva Doshehi, that is, it is devoid of any impurities. It is Shuddha and uh, it is Rasayana, it is effective in Doga and uh, Jaranasha. Then Rasendra, Rasendra ha Shava, it is also the Shuddha variety, it is, con contains no impurities. It is also Dosha Hara and uh, Rasayana. And these two varieties are uh, rare. And, uh, the remaining varieties are impure, that is Ashuddha, that is Sutta is Pita Varna and it is helpful in Deha Siddhi. Then Parada is Shweta Varna, it is helpful in Yoga Nashatva. Then Mishraga is Mayura Chandrika Chaya and it is helpful in Sarva Siddhigara. So, this is all about the types of Parada. Now we can consider the Parada doshas. There are three types of doshas present in Parada. That is Naisargika doshas. Naisargika means natural, natural impurities. Then Yaugika doshas. Yaugika doshas means physical impurities. Those are added by the vendors in order to add the weight of mercury. Then Aupadika doshas. Aupadika doshas are also known as Kanchuka doshas. These are chemical impurities in the form of a coating over mercury. That is the peripheral oxidized impurities. So these are the three doshas, three types of doshas that is Naisargika doshas, Yaugika doshas and Aupadika doshas. So let's consider one by one. First one Naisargika dosha that is Visham Vanir Malas Chedi dosha Naisargika Strayaha Rase Marana Santapa Morchanam Hetavaha Kramat. First one is Vishadosha. So it will cause death. Then second one is Vanni. Vanni will cause Santapa that is burning sensation. Then Maladosham it will cause Morcha or coma. So these are the Naisargika doshas and their effects. Then comes Yaugika doshas. That is Yaugiko Naga Vango Do Tau Jadya Atmana Kushtado. That is Naga dosha and Vanga dosha. Naga means lead, Vanga means tin. So these merchants will add this lead, tin etc. in order to increase the weight thereby they can earn much profit. So these are actually adult trends, Naga dosha and Vanga dosha and these are toxic to our body when we are using therapeutically, para, when we are using Parada for therapeutic use, if it contains Naga dosha and Vanga dosha, 
it will result in it will cause heaviness flatulence and skin disorders so these are yogika doshas then comes aupadika doshas aupadika punashchanye kirtita saptakanjuga it is also known as saptakanjuga dosha they are bhumija girija varija dechade nagavangaje that is bhumija dosha girija dosha varija dosha and two from naga and two from vanga so total seven doshas they are in in, in enumerated uh, as again they are having uh, given the names like parpadi padini bedi dravi malakari tadha andhagari tadha dwamkshi vigneya sapta kanjuga so these are the sapta kanjuga doshas now let's summarize the parada doshas that is they are divided into three naisargika yogika and aupadika or kanjuga doshas naisargika doshas are visham vanni and mala visha will cause marana vanni will cause santapa and mala dosha will cause morsha then comes yogika doshas they are two in number that is nagaja dosha and vangaja they will cause jadhya atmana and kushta then comes aupadika doshas or kanjuga doshas they are bhumija girija varija nagaja to vangaja to namely the parpadi padini bedi dravi malakari andagari and dwamshi this parpadi will cause or bhumija the dosha will cause kushta and girija or padini dosha will cause jadatva and varija or bedi will cause vada sanghada that is vada vyadi then nagaja doshas that is dravi and malakari vangaja dosha andagari and dwamshi they will increase the tridosha so these are the parada doshas and their effects and uh, this is an important topic concerned with the parada it will it's commonly asked in your exams so study well this is basically based on the rasaratna samuchaya various texts describe various types of doshas but you have to base on rasaratna samuchaya then let's consider the parada gadi parada gadi means if we are subjecting parada to various pharmaceutical procedures and samskaras there will be a loss of mercury you know mercury is a uh, very much volatile that is it will escape so uh, different types of gadis are mentioned that is loss is mentioned first one is jala gadi that is jala means water so loss of mercury through water that is during jala samskarana or washing that is jala go jala rupena then comes hamsa gadi that is loss of mercury during trituration or while transferring from one vessel to the other like a swan it will escape that is twirido hamsa go bhavet then comes mala gadi that is loss of mercury along with the impurities while we are subjecting mercury to shodhana procedures the impurities will be lost but along with that some uh, portion of mercury will also escape that is mala go mala rupena then comes dhuma gadi dhuma means vapor so loss of mercury in the form of fumes during agni samskarana when we are subjecting mercury to agni samskara there will be uh, loss of mercury in the form of fumes that is sadhuma dhuma go bhavet then comes jeeva gadi so jeeva gadi is invisible that is loss as obscure as that of prana leaving the body after death anya jeeva gadir devi jeevo anda deva nishkramet so these are the various loss occurring to mercury while we are subjecting parada to various pharmaceutical procedures like ashra samskaras etc now let's consider the grahi lakshanas of mercury so a good mercury that is a, an ideal um, ore of mercury or native mercury will appear like a, that is deep blue tinge inside and bright outside and having luster of known sun 
that is antasu neelo bahirujjalo madhyana surya pradima prakasha shastaha that is the grahya lakshana of mercury it is an important topic then agrahya lakshana which mercury we should not use that is parada which is grayish like smoke or dull white or having strange or mixed colors should not be used in different rasa karmas that is grahya and agrahya lakshanas are mentioned in ayurveda pragasham that is antasu neelo bahirujjalo madhyana surya pratima pragasha shasto adha dhumra paripandurascha na yojyo rasa karma siddhi so this is about mercury uh, or parada we have discussed the properties physical properties of mercury the forms of mercury in which it exists that is in either native form or in or in the form of ores then we have discussed the types of mercury and the properties then we have discussed the parada doshas various types of doshas uh, actually 12 total a uh, 12 number of doshas are there for mercury and uh, we have discussed the loss occurring due of to mercury during pharmaceutical procedures that is gati of mercury or parada gati so if you have any doubts regarding this topic you can ask in the comment session okay thank you